Welcome to a brand new weekly vlog. I'm still at my parents until, if you didn't see last week's vlog, that's where I am. I'm at my parents' house because I had a couple of trips booked to go to London for London Fashion Week. So my next trip is on Thursday and it's just for the day. So I've woken up this morning and we've done a workout. Um, we, my mum's got a personal trainer that comes at the minute. So I thought I would just tag along with their little workout, which was, it was tough. So... Yeah, feeling energized and feeling like I've started the week off well. I'm just gonna get on with some work this morning, grab a coffee, make some breakfast. I think it'll have been announced now by Regis that we have, I think there's four or five ambassadors that are gonna be working with them over the next few months. And the first little meeting that we've got together is on Thursday. We're going for a nice brunch in London at Cote Brasier. Um, I think that's what it's called, in Covent Garden. What else? And then we're going for a London fashion show, which is my first ever London fashion show. Last week all I did was go backstage and also, uh, what else did I get up to? Went to like Pretty Little Thing event and the blogger program event. Obviously was staying with Lucy, so you'll have seen her. And then yeah, so I'm super excited for this Thursday because we actually get to go and watch a fashion show. We're going to watch Xandra Rhodes. So I'm super excited for that. I just don't know what to have for my breakfast. I think I'm gonna go for two scrambled eggs on toast and then a coffee. That should do me until lunch. Okay, just off to the shops quickly. We need to get some food in. And because I'm here for the next couple of days, I want to get a couple of meals in for whilst I'm here. So I'm going to head into our local town. And yeah, I think there's like a couple of shops. I'll just have a quick browse around like the regulars, B&M, Wilco's, Poundland, all that sort of stuff. So I'll have a quick browse whilst I'm there anyway. And then I think I'm going to go either to Morrison's or Aldi. I've not decided yet. Probably Morrison's just because I think it's on route. the wrong season for these but pumpkin mm. yeah I think I'll be back buying them in autumn for sure this is B&M by the way So, as you saw, I went into a couple of charity shops just because around this area there are loads. So I thought I would nip in and keep my eyes out for any of my monochrome books. And I did find one. It's not really necessarily for me per se. It's more associated with Tom's interests because it's um, a book for like McLaren. I thought the actual cover itself, because it's embossed, I thought that looked really cool and it's all black with uh, driving ambition it's called. So that was four pounds, RRP was 30 pounds. I picked up my favorite, which is the Real Techniques uh, blush brush. And then because they were on offer for buy one, get one half price, I thought I would pick up another beauty blender, or I should say 
Miracle Complexion Sponge. I've actually never tried the original Beauty Blender. I've always used this. I really like it, but is there a difference between the two? I don't know. Last thing I picked up was from Wilco's, and I thought this was a really good idea because I'm going to be saving up for a deposit because I'd quite like to get myself on the property ladder at some point. So I picked up this budget planner. I quite like the fact that this well a it was only £2.50 which is brilliant b each um like section is categorized into month it's also got like a glossary of what different terms mean in terms of like fixed income like you can put your grants loans benefits any other money that you get glossary fixed spending variable monthly income variable income how to use this budget planner so it's really like instructional informative and useful i did that throughout the whole of uni and it helped me never to go into my overdraft i was quite good with my money i did work as well uh, i worked at manchester united football club in case you're interested when i went to uni up in manchester so i was a waitress there for three seasons uh, so yeah i was really good with my money and i do think that having that like budget plan i mean you can make shift your own the first the one that i had throughout uni was just a notebook and i just wrote down everything that I spent. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to doing that and see how I go. I mean, I don't know how long it'll last, but I do like the idea of jotting down everything. And then it'll just help me like manage my bank and make sure all my outgoings and ingoings are all recorded for. I think I'm more aware of doing all of that now that I am self-employed and also the fact that I am saving for a house or at some point in the future, like an apartment, something. So I'm gonna head off to Morrison's now, just get a few food bits, head back home, get on with some editing. I've got two videos to edit before I go to London. And that's about it, so let's go do a bit of food shopping. open the garage again please thank you my dad's built this uh office in our garage upstairs so i'm gonna go surprise him and go have a look at it i've not seen it yet Yeah, some old pictures of me there. Tea time. And I'm making salad. And then a lasagna in there, which was this Morrison's Eat Smart one. So it's like low in fat calories. I know they're not the best for you, but I just wanted a quick and wholesome meal. So that is what I'm having. Mum's on salmon, what are you on? Are you smiling at me vlogging? <laughs> You're not used to seeing it, are you? Uh, your uh, tongue gets well wound up. Tom's used to it now, I think. I'm uh, yakking all the time. Good morning, bright and early, off to London again. I'm just wearing this coat from Zara, this shirt which I got from TK Maxx. TK Maxx or Pretty Little Thing, I can't remember, ages ago. This little white body, H&M, uh, I think this one was. And then Pretty Little Thing, coach bag. Let's go. <laughs> Mum's hiding in the background. Beautiful day again. The car's quite frosty. We're running late, as per usual. This is never good when you're running late. <laughs> Brilliant. ordered breakfast at Coat and don't be fooled because there is two coats in Covent Garden isn't there Lauren? <laughs> Lauren turned up at the wrong one in fact we all almost went to the wrong one but kindly Claire sent us the correct address this morning um, 
so yes, there are two in Common Garden. We are at the Coat, it's like a cafe, isn't it? It's yes. on Tavistock Street. So we just ordered, I'm going for French toast. And I'm with what we're calling the hair clique with Regis. So I will leave everyone's links down below for you to have a look at. It definitely looks like everyone's eating apart from me. <laughs> Mine's on the way. Can you have a French toast? Thank you. Oh, can I enjoy it? Oh my God. Oh, oh, why didn't I choose that? Everyone's jealous. Everyone's jealous. <laughs> We've just arrived at Somerset House. First time I've been here. It's lovely. Oh, Lucy's stripping. <laughs> Outfit change in the middle of Somerset House. The sun has come out and it's gorgeous. We've literally been here, what, 10 minutes? And um, the sun's come out for us. So we're acting like pros, but we're on cobbles. <laughs> Wobbling all over the place. We look like we're drunk. Okay, there's no point going on there. Right, so now we are headed over to, I think it's called The Strand, where we're gonna go and watch a fashion show, Zandra Rhodes. Have you girls ever? I'm not gonna lie, no. No. <laughs> my mum was like, oh my we're god, Zandra Rhodes. No, and I was like, oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. So yes, that's where we're headed now. We're gonna go watch a fashion show at two. And I think there's um, a bit more going on at the Strand as well, so that's the plan. And I feel like I would blue. That do you know what that reminds me of? The um, Sarah Ashcroft colours. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Just got back. My mum's just picked me up, so I'm just going to head quickly back to theirs, pack my things, and then head back home. Oh, one guy on the tube, when I was just getting the tube to the train station, said about my blouse, because I've got like a, a lace body on underneath, and I've kind of like got it to show. And he was like, excuse me, your blouse is undone. It, you know, if you were my daughter. And I was a bit like, oh, it's meant to be like that. I was a bit, I was embarrassed. And he was just trying to be polite, saying, oh, your blouse is undone. But I was just like, um, I didn't want to say it's meant to be like that. So it didn't look like a slut. So I was a bit like, oh, thanks, sorry. Oh, and also I wanted to say, what's the name of that film? I was thinking about it when I first got, and you might know actually, you probably won't know actually. It, whenever I go to London and I first get on the underground, it reminds me there's like a horror film 
that's set and based in the underground where like people and creatures like live in the little alleyways because on the tram I always say tram tube from uh, Covent Garden to St Pancreas no legend no not legend on route from Covent Garden to uh, King's Cross it stopped and it was like you know when sometimes they go stationary in the all black and they just don't move for a bit and we were sat there for about five ten minutes just not moving and it reminded me of that film what's the name of that film anyway just want to say a big thanks to Regis for taking me um, and the girls to London Fashion Week we had a great day and I'm sure you will see more content coming very soon with them so stay tuned for that oh mum is driving like a maniac <laughs> anyway I'm gonna call it a night and I will see you tomorrow Good morning, you might recognize this setup. It is um, Tom's like office garage space. So I've come in today, it's Friday. I wasn't in last Friday, so I have a lot of paperwork to do. If you don't already know, I work here on Friday. So I help him out with like some admin chores and things like that, paperwork, which I don't mind doing. And I also came back to a few parcels. So I have all of these parcels to open. So um, I'll open all those when I get home. But for now, I need to crack on drink this coffee, get fueled energy, and get on with some paperwork. Got a visitor. Where is he? Hello. Who's this? Oh, who's this? Kisses. <laughs> this is Ralph. Yeah, everyone loves you. Say bye. Speak. Speak. <laughs> I've just quickly nipped home just because I need to, um, I just needed to write something up for my grandma. She's not feeling very well, so I've got that to send to her. I'll head to the post office in a sec, but I brought these back from the office, which are the PR packages that I got whilst I've been away. Whilst I'm here, I would do a little quick, like, unboxing of them. So the first thing that I got is from a brand called Odia. They were one of the brands at the vlogger program event that went to last or a week before last. You'll have seen in last week's vlog. Woo. Who else struggles to watch unboxing videos when someone's not confident with the scissors? Oh, that's cute. So we've got a little, I'm such a stationary lover. We've got a little like ruler in like a gold metal kind of material. And they also sent two of their gift cards. So this is the first one saying, you're all right, I suppose. And then the other one says, creating perfection isn't easy, but somehow you managed it. That's cute. Oh my God, love this. So they sent a marble notebook an A5 notebook in like a grey kind of felt fuzzy material which is so cool. I love stuff like this. I'm absolutely stationary lover and if you like really cool quirky they've got a new range which has a lot of like palm I think it's called palm springs and there's obviously lots of palms and greenery and it's really really pretty stationary so I would highly recommend Odia if you're a stationary lover like me contains perfume I think it says or perfume product okay so in here we have from the brand so which was another brand at the event they very kindly sent over some more bits Hey Freya, hope you're well. Here is our So Collection bestseller, So Dark Romance, plus one of our So Body Mists for you to try. We smelt the So Dark Romance at the event, but they didn't have any samples, so they did say they were going to send some over, and um, it smells just like, or very, very similar to um, YSL's Black Opium, which I personally love. It's one of my favourite uh, fragrances that's what it looks like it's called so dark romance and then like i said they also included some other bits so there's the dark romance fragrance mist oh, honestly it's so so similar you have to go in and try it yourself wild berries body mist and then the little dry shampoo so the next one is oh these are nice i'm gonna have to show you these better in a, a photo because these are so nice they're from a brand called ideal of sweden and they are phone cases how pretty are they this one's like a white and gold marble and this one's like a dark gray one 
Ah, okay, this is another brand that was at that event. So I do recommend you go checking out that vlog if you haven't already. It's called um, Franklin and Sons, and I guess these are a couple of little mixers. Okay, so this is what the brand looks like. How nice is that box, by the way? These are, oh, wow. So there's four samples here that they've sent over of their tonic range. Natural light tonic water, which is the one that I tend to go for. Uh, the original ginger ale, lemon tonic, Sicilian lemon tonic, that will be amazing. And then natural Indian tonic water. So thanks guys for sending that over. I'll definitely be putting that on our drinks trolley. On to the second bag now. I have what also looks to be another bottle of something. Oh wow, look at that bottle. Is it, if, if that's not me in a gin bottle, I don't know what it is. All black, matte black with the, like silver and white writing. Cannot wait to try this and that will look amazing on our new drinks trolley. I cannot wait to like style that up with the tonic waters as well. Okay, so this is, looks to be, yeah, okay, this is a press release for a brand called Langley's England and this is what this bottle looks like. Again, very fitting with the theme. Langley's Distilled London Dry Gin. I can't wait, to, I'm gonna have all the gin, all the tonics. Look how nice they are. Next up, I have a package from Imagination PR. Okay, so in here we have the Elemental Herbology Body Essentials Tree of Life Multipurpose Balm. So that's what that one looks like. And then this is the Radiance and Vitality Nutrition Infused Sheet Mask. This is liquid as well. Oh, so this brand is, this one's a bit different. It's not gin, this one. Uh, this is a black currant liqueur. If you like black currant, this would be amazing. And there's a little um, insert here as to what kind of cocktails you can make with it. But that crumble one would be my choice. British cassis, gin, apple juice, and fresh ginger. Yum. And then last but not least, I have this one, which... I have no idea who it's from. Okay, this is cute. So this is actually something that I'm going to be gifting my mum for Mother's Day. Hotel Chocolat very kindly gifted me this as an idea for what to get your mother for Mother's Day. So I'm thinking about doing like a blog post of ideas and I might include, might, I will include this, let's be honest. Who doesn't love chocolates? on um, any occasion, not just Mother's Day. For now, I'm gonna go to the post office, post those things for my grandma, and then, oh, my roses have lasted well. You will have also seen it last week's vlog. Tom very kindly got me some white roses for Valentine's Day, and he's not topped it up with water, but look how well they've lasted. Aww, isn't he a cutie? They smell amazing as well. Maybe I have a secret admirer. No, I'm just kidding, it's Tom. Thanks, Tom, you're the best. You're the best. And I've got this mess to tackle. Yay! Woo! And I still haven't even unpacked from London. Yay! Just Careful. making dinner, just <laughs> while watching Sakoni Jolings. Um, we're gonna go with our chicken thigh dish tonight, which I'm sure you've seen before if you've watched my vlogs. It's like a regular and favorite of ours. Quite healthy. The only thing is this time there's no chorizo. There wasn't any in the shop that I've just been to. So I'm hoping Tom doesn't notice. I think he might. So to accommodate that, I decided we should treat ourselves to not only one chocolate bar tonight, but also some sticky toffee pudding. So I'm sure Tom will very much appreciate that. He's just en route back now from work. He's been in Halifax today. So we're gonna have dinner ready for him, like the domestic goddess that I am. I'm really not, he's usually the chef. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have dinner ready for him and I'm pretty hungry myself too. I still have all of this mess to clear up, which is going to be the task to do after the things are in the oven. As for now, I think I'm gonna say good night and I'll see you in the morning. Let's just hide that messy cupboard right there. <laughs> Hi, good morning. And I was gonna say welcome to a new vlog, but it's not because it's only Saturday. It is Saturday and this morning, it's like gorgeous weather outside. I don't know if you can tell, I'm like literally just sat on the floor in my bedroom. <laughs> but um, yeah, the sun is shining. Tom is off to work pretty much all day until about five today. 
So I just messaged Emily. She is walking Ralph later on this afternoon, so I'm gonna tag along and join her and go and watch her boyfriend play a bit of rugby. So that's the plan this afternoon. This morning I've just got up, literally hair up, get done kind of day again today because I still haven't like fully unpacked. Downstairs is a complete mess and there's just lots of like tidying that needs doing. So that's the kind of day it's gonna be this morning until about two o'clock when we go out this afternoon. Hopefully this weather's gonna hold out because it's literally amazing. Um, I'm just going to nip to booze, grab a coffee, get survival of the fittest on from last night to catch up and then I'm pretty much just going to have my laptop set up and just Netflix and chill with myself but no chilling, just tidying. <laughs> so yeah, there might be a couple of time lapses but uh, I hope you enjoy that kind of thing. But as for now, let's go get breakfast and then start the tidying process, yay! Oh, and Tom's still got his love balloons, so cute. I said to him though this morning, I was like, can I bin them now? And he was like, yeah, they're putting your feng shui off. I was like, yeah. I'm just gonna do a quick pit stop and show you, I can't remember if I've already shown you these bits or not, so if I have, I'll just cut this clip. <laughs> but um, I went into Morrison's when I was back at, her, well, back at my parents' home. God, these bits of my hair are so annoying. Someone commented once saying like, God, did you not get annoyed by having to do this all the time? I just have these like baby hair bits here that stick out my ears, anyone else have that? Look. Oh, anyway, okay, so the first thing that I got, which I thought would go quite well downstairs, like with our decor, this little hanging letter basket, which we're thinking that front room, because we've got like a desk there already, we might actually start using that as a desk. So to have that close by, maybe to put paperwork in, or letters from the post box because I've only got the I've got the post box key which is like on the outside of our house which Tom doesn't have so I can put any mail in there that's for him I think that was three pounds and then I also picked up I also picked up this little like geometric style grey candle I think that was like 50p so like a mega bargain that I couldn't say no to got this which I think could be a bit of fun I don't know whether or not he'll do it with me but I'll uh I'll try and convince him to these were like reduced in the mega clearance again from the Valentine's range in Morrison's and it's like this couple's trivia like question Q&A type thing. So things like what do I do that annoys you the most, uh, to which song did we first dance together, questions like that. So they were, I think they were about 25p so I thought I'd pick that up and see if I can convince him to do it. Okay, I'm just heading off to go meet Emily. It's kind of windy, might be a bit cold. At least the sun is shining though, that is good. So she's bringing Ralph. I love coming out and getting out, going for walks when the weather's like this. It's amazing, look at the sky. Bright blue skies. How long will it take him to realize? <laughs> Ralph! 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 Hello! Hello! <laughs> Look at that one! Oh, that so cute. Hello! <laughs> Ralph's scared. <laughs> We're just going to watch your. Oh, it's all blurry. My love. Your love play rugby. Ooh. At least, we were just saying, at least it's not as much of a commitment as cricket is because Tom plays cricket. We're not even in focus, look. Focus on our face. We're here. Oh, Bobby. did you feel oh. that electric shock? Yeah, chemistry. <laughs> spark between us. The spark's flying. So yeah, we're gonna go watch him play rugby, aren't we? We've got the pup in tow. Come on, babe. The sniffer dog. Don't understand the rules of rugby, but hey, I'm gonna watch and support anyway. We can be cheerleaders on the sideline. <laughs> so watching the rugby. Is your daddy there? <laughs> home now had a lovely time out having a walk nice bit of 
exercise and fresh air more importantly when it's this weather outside even though it's cold I just feel guilty being inside if the sun's shining so yeah back home I'm actually like all muddy and everything because we the field that we went to watch the rugby match was very thick mud so I think I'm just gonna have a declothe, maybe a nice hot bath, and then wait for Tom to get home. He's actually bringing home tonight some burgers from the restaurant that we own in Burnley. So, I say we, he owns in Burnley. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think he's actually having a night in as well tonight because he's been out all day. So I'm gonna have a nice hot bath, wash my hair, maybe do a nice deep like hair mask and face mask, a bit of a pamper session. And then I still have this room to tackle. I got everything tidied up here. I've got some washing on the go. And then this room I kind of need to like do ironing. I have that big pile there that I need to go through. And then um, I've got some giveaway bits down here which I need to film for you guys to show you what I'm gifting to all of you. Just got out the shower but I just have to share this with you. It's kind of grubby and kind of running out as well which I'm quite sad about. But I've got this at a um, event in Manchester. It's uh, Seahorse Plankton High Definition Facial Oil. I use this sometimes with my makeup but also just like now once I get out the shower or bath. And then I'm just going to put some of this uh, Dr. Paul Paul Original Balm on my lips. And then for my hair, I've like lightly towel dried it for now. I've just put a bit of the cream heat spray from Maria Nila on it. And then I literally have the tiniest amount left in this Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. It's an all over mirror oil that you can put on your face body and on your hair for now I'm just gonna put it on my hair but when I'm like abroad and on holiday I'll take one of these and literally just use it all over and just run it through the ends finish drying it off uh, but I'm not gonna fully finish drying it tonight we're not going out or anything anywhere so I'm gonna let it dry a bit more naturally because I don't want to use too much heat when I don't need to that is my little after shower routine Look what Tommy's brought home. What's in here? Chips? Is this our new takeout things? They are, yeah. Cool. Oh, look at my little cheeseburger. Did you get sweet potato fries? Yeah. So these ones are mine. Oh my god, truffle chips. They smell so good. <laughs> Good morning, another beautiful day. Although it is pretty cold, it says it's gonna be like up to minus nine next week. But we're gonna go to TK Maxx, have a quick browse for Mother's Day. And then we're gonna head out for a nice countryside walk with your mother, aren't we? Parts. Lucky mothers. Just realised Tom didn't buy anything for his mother, it was just for him. <laughs> Fall is gonna cause his pain. Let the river run. Ready to go for a walk? Walkies! Walkies! Let's go. Hello. Who else says that cows, when they're lying down, means it's going to rain? But look at that sky. <laughs> Coffee and walnut cake. I'm going to have to have that. Look, they do dog treats. <laughs> Coffee and walnut cake, my fave. There he is, little Robin. Yeah. <laughs> We're ending our Sunday with power and Chinese. And this concludes this week's weekly vlog.